Hello there. Welcome to this video testing control structures. In this video we're going to see what are control structures, the different types of control structures and of course we're going to test them. All right. Now what are control structures? When you write a program, you need facility to enable decision making for the program. Whether it is based on a variable value which you set or a sensor value which you're reading or something which you're getting from somewhere else. You might have to control the flow of the program depending on an outcome of the program. You might have to loop within a certain piece of the program, for example, to read the values of an array or to keep reading the sensor value till it meets certain basic criteria. You might also have predefined outcomes and when your program satisfies one of the conditions, it should be routed to that specific outcome. Okay, now let's take a look at what is available for us in the Arduino language. So the different types of control structures here are if and else, for statement, case statements, while and do while statements. Let's get started with the if and else statement. Alright, now let's take a look at the if and else statement. So first let me explain what is happening in this code. So we have an integer called sensor and we assign the value 1 to the sensor variable. In the void setup you are beginning the serial. Now in the void loop this is where you are writing the actual code if and else statement. So the syntax is if open bracket close bracket the condition then you have a set of open close brackets so here you do the satisfy condition for example if the sensor value equal to 1 so this is how we compare the sensor value to the value you are asking it to be compared to and if this is true then you do whatever is within this two curly brackets so in this case you're printing pin is high and you're delaying by 5 seconds if the sensor value is not equal to 1 then it will do whatever is inside the else statement so if the condition the success branch else the unsuccessful branch that's about it let's go ahead and try this as of now the sensor value is 1 so therefore it should say the pin is high all right let's go ahead and compile this real quick okay it's right into the board all right open your serial monitor you know how to do that so there you go it says pin is high so since we have a 5 second delay is waiting for 5 seconds and then this is going to keep happening forever. Now real quick if you want to change this so let's make this value 0 or anything other than 1 doesn't matter and go ahead and upload it and now open your serial monitor it's going to say pin is low because the sensor value is not equal to 1. Perfect. Let's go on to the next example. In this example, we are going to try the for loop. Now for loop has many purposes. Now one of the main purposes is to loop on a specific condition until it satisfies that condition. So for example, here we are saying that for int, we are creating a variable, you can also create it outside. So we are saying int i equal to 0. So that means you are starting with the value i equal to 0. And as long as i is less than 5, you increment i by 1. Okay. So in the first loop, it's going to come inside. So i is going to be 0, it's going to come inside. And it's going to say serial print ln array position number 0. So it's going to print us. It's going to delay by 2000 and then it's going to go back. Then it's going to check, okay, i is equal to 0. So i is still less than 5, that is true. So it's going to make i plus plus. So now i is going to be 1. So then it's going to come inside. Now this time array 1 position is equal to Germany or DE. So this is going to go on till i is less than 5. At that point it should be 4 and therefore we should have printed all the values in the array. Actually we only need 3 to print all the values in the array because the position starts with 0. So it should be 0, 1, 2 and 3. Perfect. Let's make it 4 in that case. All right, let's go ahead and test this. So go ahead and upload it. So it's done. Everything is good. Open your serial monitor 
and now you should be seeing the values so US Germany China India and then it's going to do the same thing again perfect all right let's move on to the next example okay now we're gonna be seeing the switch or case statement now this is used when you know the possible cases and you want to control them in this case what we're doing is we have a switch statement so we're saying switch and we're passing the value for a and then if this value matches the case for example if a equal to 1 so case 1 then you do this then you break away if a is equal to 2 then you do this and if a equal to something else then you go for the default and you do this so in this case we're just printing case 1 case 2 and don't know so if you have a set of known outcomes and you want to keep your code clean and you want to control it much better then you can use the case statement okay perfect now in this example we're creating a integer a and we are assigning the value 7 to it and then it's going to come inside so a is value 7 in this case is going to try to match so the only way it can match is the default All right, let's go ahead and upload it first you need to compile it so I'm going to say upload make sure you're connected and you've chosen the right port okay there you go all right it's done uploading now let's go ahead and open up the serial monitor and you will see don't know all right now let's go ahead and change this so I'm going to make the value of a as 2 so then it's going to match case 2 and then it's going to say case 2 all right let's go ahead and upload it all right let's open the serial monitor now you will see case 2 so it's going to do case 2 every two seconds perfect let's go on to the next example in this example we're going to see how the while loop works while loop is also another conditional statement and the syntax is you say while you open close the bracket you pass the argument and the condition and then if it's successful it's going to go inside the loop and execute whatever inside the loop else it's not going to go inside and continue with the program in this program what we're doing is you're beginning your serial and in the void loop you're creating a variable of type integer called sensor value and you're assigning the value by reading the analog pin a3 you do that by calling the function analog read and by passing the analog pin number you actually have to say a3 not just 3 now as you can see nothing is connected to a3 so the value is going to be less than 1000 now in the while loop if it satisfies the condition less than 1000 then it's going to come inside first it's going to print the value of the sensor value which is basically what I was reading in the analog pin A3 then what we're going to do is we're going to print high to pin number 13 we do that by calling the function digital write and you pass the arguments in number and what you want to do high or low in this case it's going to be high now pin number 13 is connected to an LED in the Arduino Uno board so you can see this LED going high all right let's go ahead and test it let's go ahead and upload it now you can see that on the board the LED is glowing and switching off every three seconds and the value is 386 great now you must have learned a lot of things in this video I hope you had fun in the next video we're gonna see how to use arithmetic boolean comparison and other operators